Well, 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 folks, it's a lovely evening. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what time it is now. It is now 20 minutes to nine. <clears throat> and we have here some ducks come visiting. Some really nice big ducks. I hope they won't go into the water. And across there, we can see the lights on the other side. So our video started here this morning on this um, on this platform here, you can see, and uh, it was a great promising day of fishing, and we took off and we got our ice and we crossed some scenic um, tributaries. We got down there and we parked and we pulled the trolley onto the beach, and of course. We went fishing, Mama Lou went splashing, and um, well, it was a toss up to get her off the, the sand because the waves kept pounding her. Huh? It seems that the, the weather is going to change a bit, but I want to say that um, we were not so fortunate in our, co uh, in our fishing. You see, there's some kind of restrictions also to the size of fish you will catch down there. And therefore, you know, we have to be careful about what we catch, we must throw back into the sea. It's not like how we do it in the carcass. You pull up the, the seine and fish that you're not even interested in, you could probably leave it on the beach. Not over here, you can't do that. If you catch a fish that is not um, lawful to take away, you must be sure to put it back into the ocean. And um, oh boy, there goes that that little that little fella is flapping his wings. Uh, yeah, the ducks come across here and eat things. I don't know where they're hunting. I don't know where they'll be all taking off. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. So, as I was saying, you know. When you are in Trinidad, you fish, and what you don't like, you probably leave on the beach. But fish is getting so scarce that long ago, you, they would have dumped what you call um, cutlass fish. Not again. You don't do that with cutlass fish. Cutlass fish is now a delicacy. But the fact is that you don't, you don't leave on the beach fish that you don't want. That, that doesn't happen here in Jacksonville. And while we were there on the beach, there were two wardens who passed and they they can ask you to open your cooler to see the size of the fish that you've you've got the size of the fish is important if it is under i think under um, seven inches you you will probably have to put it back into the ocean so there are laws here that um you know people people subscribe to they they submit to these laws and therefore it's a kind of con converse, conservation exercise that goes on. I'm only telling you this because I believe that in Trinidad we could do a lot better when it comes to wastage of our resources, especially in the agriculture and the fishing industry. So my friends, thank you very much. I, I hope it gives a little insight. I was trying to get Mama Lou outside here, but Mama Lou is a bit tired. So I didn't want to lap this over into, <clears throat> into another day. Light has gone from me. I'm only left here with my little friends. Hello, little fellows. What are you all doing? This is the where we started this morning. Now we have the pale lights of the evening. Night is fast coming on. I don't know what the ducks are waiting for. But once again, thank you very much, friends. All the best. <laughs>